what is perfect? You know what perfect is? Checking off 70% of my to-do list for the day, okay? Because it's a long list. Keep watching, find out what book we're talking about today. Hey y'all, this is Kyla Denango, and today we are talking about another exceptional book. I've recently realized that perfection is a hoax completely made up. It's not made up in terms of like engineering and medicine and things like that. But let's talk about why perfect is not the goal, okay? So today we're talking about the book, Like She Owns the Place, all right? This book is written by Kara Alwil Leba. I discovered this book, pink hair, it jumped at me. It jumped, okay? She's written three other books. I gotta go back and read those. She has a podcast, I had to start listening to that. I'm just completely standing, okay? But the genre of the book is not fiction. The theme of the book is business, economic self-motivation. So we're gonna jump straight into perfection and what it has to do with this book. And that is my favorite quote, which is from page 77, okay? So she writes, I think many of us feel that confidence comes after we achieve perfection, which never happens because perfection doesn't exist. Perfection doesn't exist. So the reason why I love that quote is because Kara cuts through all of your excuses. All right, I'll do it when I'm perfect. I'll do it when my body is perfect. I'll go to the beach. When, I, when my book is perfect, I'll submit it. No, 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 no. She submitted her book to over 19 publishers, kept getting rejected and decided to self-publish. And now she's on her fourth book, okay? So the truth is, Perfection is this big hyped up thing that we just use as an excuse, okay? A lot of times people will use perfection as another way to procrastinate. Like if you're being honest, does the thing have to be perfect or do you just really not wanna do it? Does the thing have to be perfect or are you scared of the result? Does the thing have to be perfect or are you terrified to put yourself out there? It's probably one of those things, right? This video is not gonna be perfect. You're watching it right now because you enjoyed it, okay? So you might as well subscribe to the channel and get more book reviews from me every single week. And another big aspect in this book that ties into perfection is when Kara writes about guilt, all right? And I'm talking about the classic guilt that we all know about, right? Your mom says her little side comments and then you feel weird for the rest of the day. Or your friend makes a little side snub and then you feel a way about it. And like, enough. You are only one person. Let yourself be human. Kira writes, you are allowed to be human. You are allowed to let the ball drop. You are allowed to make mistakes. And what I loved about that is Kara says that you have to prioritize yourself, right? We often have these lists of all the things we need to get done and all the things that have to be done for the day. Is meditation on that list? Is go drink a glass of water on that list? And if it is, don't feel guilty as you don't drink the water, right? Like you can't add stuff and then add the guilt. That's Right? Like add yourself to your list, make yourself a priority. And I love that, I absolutely loved it. And let me tell you another thing. A lot of times people have to grow into their ambition. They have to grow into their goals. And if that's you, you should definitely watch this video here where I talk about being unapologetically ambitious. Yes, I am telling you all the secrets from a big time CEO who talks about how their ambition grew with them, okay? So I will see you in the next video.